Hello everyone, today we will learn how to set up auto reply in Outlook in real time which means that whenever you receive a mail in your Outlook account then you have to reply to the mail. So you can do that automatically rather than replying to every mail one by one and we can create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. In this automation our trigger will be the new mail received in the application Office 365 and our action will be to send a reply to that mail via Office 365 only. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn how can you reply to an Outlook email instantly and automatically whenever a mail is received. To create such an automation, we are going to use Pabli. So let us quickly sign in into our account so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. So we are going to use Pabli Connect to create the automation. Let us click on access now under Pabli Connect and that's where you reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you will find a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as set up auto reply in Outlook in real time. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Like you can see on your screen, you will have two windows, trigger and action. Now before you move ahead with the workflow or the creation of the workflow, make sure that you have opened your Outlook over here and also one application or one Google account from where you are going to send the message for this trial workflow that you are going to create. Now let us understand the functioning of trigger and action window. So the trigger window is the first application where the event will take place which will trigger this workflow and the action application will perform the assigned action. Both of our trigger and action application for this workflow are going to be Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Office 365. So let us choose our trigger application as Microsoft Office 365 and the event over here is going to be new mail so that it triggers whenever a new mail is received. Click on connect and connect it to Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect is notified whenever a new mail is received. For that you have to connect with Microsoft Office 365. It will automatically detect because we have opened it in a separate tab. We just have to click on yes by giving access over here, Pabli Connect and Microsoft Office will be connected. So now it says connected. So when you click on save and send test request, it will bring you the latest email that it might have received. Now for that, let me do one thing that I'll, I'll go to my different Google account and send a mail about a car, about a car store and a customer is reviewing for the car store. So let me go back here. I have already created a message. I have already composed. This is the email address where I'm going to send the message to. I just have to enter the subject and this is the one review that I as a customer have created. So over here I'm writing review. All right. And I will just click on send. So once this is sent, we will go to our Outlook where we will receive this message. This is my Outlook and let me just do a refresh over here and we have received over here. So this is the email that we have received. So let us click on save and send test request and here we have received. So here we have the subject of the mail and then we also have the content that is this. This is the review which we are supposed to reply. So which means that we have received our trigger response nicely. We just need to put a filter right over here. So the filter that we are going to put is that before we reply to any email, we have to check that this email address that is the Outlook one can be used for multiple purposes. So every email cannot be for the review, right? So we are going to put a filter of the subject that if the subject includes the word review, only then you have to revert back to this message as the feedback of the review. So let us choose the label right over here, which is the subject. You can select it from this drop down menu. Here we have the subject that is review. That's how you map it. It should be equal. No, it can be something else. Different customers give different review, but the subject should contain review. All right. So whatever is the name, it should contain review. Now it should be this similar to this. Now when you click on save and send test request, it will show a true value. This is success and condition is true because yes, the subject contains this. So if this email passes this test of the filter only then the action step will be performed that is going to be our sending of the re email reply. So let us choose again Microsoft Office as our action application over here. Then we have the action event is to send mail connect again. This time you don't need to go for add new connection. Keep it on select existing connection because you've already used the same account over here. Now you're supposed to enter the subject, the body content and the recipient address over here. So once it passes the test of this filter, which means that it contains the review in the subject of the email, you have to enter the subject over here. 
this is the email that you are going to revert back with. Okay, so I'm giving the topic as feedback review. All right, then we have the content type that is plain. Body content is thanking the person for the review. All right, I have created the content over here. So let me just copy it, begin with dear, and then map the name of the person which will be given over here. This is the name. Okay. Put a comma slash n. So we put slash and n because it does the work of the enter key on your keyboard, which means that whatever you're going to write after enter will come just next to it. And after this, again, we will put slash n so that the regards line come under this looking forward. So once this is done, you've created the content. Every time this message is drafted or this email is drafted, the name will change according to the person whosoever is sending the message. Now to recipient, you have to enter the email address right over here. So you will map the email address from the responses that from where you have received the email. So we received the email from this email address. Now once this is done, click on save and send test request. And then you will receive a response from your action application that the message has been sent. So like you can see the response has been received over here. Now it says that the application processed but the request returned a blank response. We were not able to receive a response right here but it says that the request has been processed which means that we have received the email. So let us go and check the email. So this is the one and here we have received the feedback review which is this that we framed over here in our workflow which means that our workflow has been a success. It went well. So our trigger application was Microsoft Office 365 where we received a new email, put a filter about the subject that it has to be about a review only, then only it will be passed ahead. And then a mail will be sent as a response to that specific email or response over here. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.